Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Bumbles, and today we are talking about what EA college football should steal from Madden right now. Okay, right off, right off the bat. EA, take progressive fatigue from Madden, put it in EA College Football 24. But before you do it, fix it. Because right now in Madden, it's semi-broken. They kind of band-aided it. It was completely broken at launch. It has a little bit of a band-aid on it now, but towards the end of the season or the playoffs, the CPU doesn't know how to manage it correctly. They turn into trash. You'll see linemen out at tight end. You'll see you'll see some linemen out at wide receiver sometimes. It just depends on, you know, who's gassed. Uh, so please steal the feature because it's a great feature. Going on through the season and not managing your fatigue right or giving your players the right amount of rest can really result in higher injury chances, things like that. So if it can be done correctly, put it in the game. It was a great step forward. People have been asking for it for years. Um, I enjoy it personally, um, I, but we've gone back to turning it off to make it more competitive in Madden. I hope the same thing doesn't happen with EA College Football. We'll see. Okay, this next one, really quick, steal the scenario engine. Some of them I know are kind of bad, <laughs> but they've added a lot this year in Madden. I know they brought over a new guy to, to, to beef up the scenarios. Um, I can think of a ton for college football that will work. You got a five-star sitting on the bench, not getting enough playing in time. He's going to transfer, right? You got a Quinn Ewers situation on your hands. There are so many you could do for college football. Put it in the game. Just make sure it works, please. I feel like I need to say that about everything. <laughs> make sure these things work. Don't have this game launch in beta. You get one chance at relaunching this franchise. Do it right. Okay, number three. This was already in college football, NCAA uh, 14 with the home field advantage, but there weren't M factors like Madden has now, where there are specific uh, stadium traits almost that a, um, a stadium will have as a home field advantage. Then there's two random ones on top of that if the more the crowd sways to your side. I think this is a great idea for to bring over to college football. A lot of people, maybe we need the option to turn it on or off. I know a lot of people don't like it. I personally love it. I feel like it makes stadiums feel more unique. Um, if I go to Buffalo and the, the meter is swinging back and forth because the wind is always terrible, uh, that kind of stuff is awesome to me. Uh, I feel like, you know, if you're in Happy Valley and it's a whiteout, that game should have its own set of M factors on the stadium to make it harder for you to audible, things like that. Things that are already in Madden, I'm sure you can come up with other things for college football that work better in that game. Uh, but bring it over. Come on, steal it. All right, number four. I'm not sure if they can do this. Next gen stats. Player movement. And this is another one that's controversial. You have a lot of people on those Madden boards that don't like the slower player movement that comes with next gen stats that are taken directly from data. It's coming off of these tracked players, right? I don't know if, I don't think they do that in college ball. I, I remember reading up on um, a company that was going to do that in college football. Might need to do a little research there and stick in a little card right here on whether or not it's possible. But if it is possible, and there's any inkling of a chance of doing it, get it in because that player movement, I like it. Uh, it feels more realistic. You can't user everything. Not that I'm against usering. I myself, I'm a fan of the usering, but I just enjoy a slower, more methodical game. I'll play it quick as long as it feels right. All right, number five, this is pretty straightforward. It's quick injury slider. We need it. That goes for all the sliders that we don't have in NCAA 14 that are in Madden 22 at this point. Bring the sliders over. Injuries were either on or off. Give us the ability to ramp those suckers up or take them down because uh, you never know. You know, like with Madden, it was 50 was way too high. You had to bring it down or else you had four linemen that had torn labrums four games into the season. Don't let that happen here. Give us a slider. Let us make the adjustments, please. For my last point, I'm actually going to circle back to the next gen player movement, uh, but we're going to talk about the next gen stats specifically. Currently, and I'll throw up a screenshot right here, they don't work properly. At least in franchise or online franchise, they do not work. If you go to players and you'll go and you'll look at um, like throws under pressure or under direct like a blitz and it'll have zeros all the way across the board. There's no stats there. So as cool as that stuff is, like it's almost a tease that you can see that it's supposed to be there and it's not. So another thing that's not working in Madden that I'd love to have in college football 
if it's working. Are you seeing a theme here? Most of the stuff that's good in Madden doesn't work. Anyway, that's just a few things I can think of from Madden that I would like to see in college football. If you can think of other ones, drop them down in the comments. I'd like to hear it. Personally, I think the biggest one for me is progressive fatigue, but you know, and the home field advantage, uh, those would go a long way to making a great game, uh, especially with that college atmosphere. But we'll see what they do. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching. If you got this far and you're ready for the next videos that are coming, drop a like, hit subscribe, you know, hit the bell, all that fun stuff. I have a second channel. You want to check that out? Go for it. It's animation. If you like it, cool. If not, I'll see you in the next video here, which is what not to steal from Adam. Bye.